Hey guys, welcome to the video. So I just got back from an epic eight day road trip through Northern Spain. And just wanted to take a quick second to make this intro video because I didn't get a chance to shoot one while we were out on the trip. Just to talk a little bit about the trip, why we went on it, and lay out a little bit about what you're gonna see in the video. The northern part of Spain, uh, for people from North America at least, is relatively unknown. You know, I never really heard anybody, probably not even once, mention anything about any of the regions that we visited on this trip in the United States. And me and my friend Anoush, who ended up coming on the trip with me, we're living here in the southern part of Spain, in the Murcia region, working as English assistant teachers. And whenever we talk to the locals, and especially when I tell them that I'm a landscape photographer, I'm into exploring nature, traveling, those sorts of things, over and over again, they mentioned that I have to see the north. The northern part of the country is just so different than the southern part in every way, right? Uh, the landscape is just very lush and green compared to here. Um, the climate is so different. The coastline is very rocky and wild. There's tons of cliffs, mountain ranges. Uh, even the people and the culture is very different. The languages that they speak are different. So we planned this eight day trip during our two week holiday break, trying to see all the different regions that there are in the northern part of the country. And man, I gotta say, Northern Spain definitely does not disappoint. I ended up being so happy and blown away by all the different places that we saw. And I'll let you guys make up your minds for yourself, but I highly recommend that you add Northern Spain onto your travel list. So follow along and enjoy as I take you through our eight day road trip through Northern Spain. Here, come here, come here, sweetheart, come here. Terra Forest. It's a uh, national forest here in País Basco with uh, marshes, meadows, really cool, interesting looking trees. Check it out. This forest is definitely really cool, um, but as you can see, all the leaves are dead and there's not a lot of moss on the trees. Ground isn't that wet. I don't think it's rained in a few days. So definitely I think it would be better to come here in the fall or the spring, but Otatera Forest, definitely recommend it. Really cool spot if you're in the Bilbao area. arrived here at Barica Beach. It's about 10 minutes till sunset, so we're rushing down to the beach, see what we can catch. Uh, really cool beach with interesting coastline, cool rock formations, that sort of thing. So really pumped about taking some photos here, flying the drone around. There's a lot of people around here, uh, so 
It seems like a pretty popular spot, but let's see what we can get. here this beach is wild there's so many cool rock formations a lot of leading lines definitely a lot of really cool photos to be taken here there's a couple photographers out here already sun's going down so I'm gonna get my camera out right now and shoot this beach by this beach. I've never <laughs> seen a beach like this and I'm kind of a little overwhelmed, a little complicated to shoot. I got to see a really <laughs> spectacular, just stunning place that I've never seen anything like this before. But that's it for Barica Beach right now. Uh, we're gonna walk back to the car, call it a night, relax a little bit. Uh, I think there's a party over at the hostel. It's New Year's Eve, by the way, so Happy New Year and we're gonna celebrate the new year tonight and get back at it tomorrow on the road to Cantabria tomorrow. So I will check back in with you guys tomorrow. chill day, walked around, explored Bilbao a little bit. Really cool city. Um, the Basque country overall is very interesting. It's really curious to see and talk to the people of Pais Basco. Their language is very unique. Everybody speaks Basque and it looks and sounds pretty much nothing like Spanish. So it's really interesting to see a small country like Spain having all these unique different cultures in all the regions with their own languages, their own ways of thinking, their own lifestyle. Uh, so really cool. But Cantabria, we just got here and we're gonna explore the coast around here. I just got up to this hill, these lookout points, and this coastline is absolutely insane. Uh, the place we're at right now is called Euros de Liencras. And there's a couple of different lookout points. Uh, it's about an hour and a half till sunset, so we're gonna walk around, take in the sights a little bit, uh, plan out our shots for sunset. There's a lot of cloud coverage, so I'm hoping it's a really colorful sunset. So let me go back to the car, grab my camera bag, and walk around a little bit and explore the coast of Cantabria.
right guys, done shooting Euros de Liencres, and I'm walking up to uh, Euros de Manzano about 10 minutes before sunset, so kind of got to hurry. Was able to fly the drone. We got a, it was super windy when we got here, but we got a, a big break uh, in the wind and we were able to drone it. Got some pretty epic stuff and uh, definitely gonna drone it while I'm up here as well. So let's check it out. Just finishing up here, <coughs> excuse me, at Euros de Manzano. And uh, my favorite place so far, it's only day two, but it's my favorite place so far on the North Spain road trip. And it's just unbelievable. There was no sunset really, too overcast, but who cares, man? It's just too beautiful to care about that. That just about wraps it up for day two. We're gonna go back to the car, drive to the new Airbnb we're staying at. We're going to the Asturias and we're staying in uh, a town called Gijon. I think that's how you say it. And tomorrow we're gonna be hiking Picos de Europa. So, got a big day ahead of us tomorrow. So, we're gonna get some food, get some rest, and get back on the road tomorrow. got to Lagos de Cara, Caravonga after waiting at the gate for like a half hour they wouldn't let they weren't letting anybody in but we finally made it here parked the car and gonna walk around a little bit wow this place is so beautiful All right, so we hiked around the lake for a little bit. We didn't really go too far uh, or too deep into any of the trails because we wanted to kind of be close by to the car to go over to the other lake on the other side before sunset. So we're heading back to the car right now and also we're starving. So we have some sandwiches in the car that we're gonna smash real quick. <laughs> Bocadillo con chorizo. It's a typical Spanish lunch. This little stone house, shed, whatever it is over here, is just picturesque and impossible not to 
stop and photograph, so I'm gonna go do that right now. Spain um, from New York City I never had the chance to photograph or explore nature landscapes like this at all like anything close to this so I'm just blown away by all this scenery and this experience and this trip overall you know What's up guys, welcome back. So, had a little bit of a change of plans today. Uh, we made a mistake with our Airbnb booking. We thought that we had one more night and our host called us as we were on the way to uh, Tierve and she was like, hey, what are you guys doing? You guys gotta get your stuff out. You're supposed to check out today. But we thought that we had one more night. So, we had to go all the way back to the Airbnb, which is like an hour and a half away, pack our stuff up. We grabbed lunch real quick in the town of Quijon one more time. And we got to, we just got to this beach for sunset. It's called Playa Silencio. And it's about 45 minutes until sunset. And man, this view over here is insane. It's another one of those stunning, rocky coastlines here in North Spain. So I can't wait to get my camera out, explore get my drone out, fly it around here, and get some really cool shots. So I'm gonna go do that right now.
So sun is officially down at Playa Silencio. Man, this beach is absolutely insane. So gorgeous. After this, we're just gonna head back to our car, check into our new Airbnb. Um, I forget right now the name of the town that we're gonna be staying in, but it's still in the Asturias region of Spain. So we're gonna stay in this general vicinity until um, for two more days. And then we're gonna head to Galicia for two days. So looking forward to tomorrow and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Peace. Down here at Aguilar Beach, uh, 45 minutes until the sunset. Not really sure what to expect out of this beach, but if it's anything like the other beaches that we've been seeing in North Spain, you know it's gonna be good. There's no shortage of beautiful looking coastline in the northern part of Spain. Uh, that's all we've been seeing, and it's kind of what I expect to see here. So let's check it out. I'm just walking down to the beach right now. It's pretty empty. A couple people here, but not too many. It's a good sign. Uh, not really sure how the sunset's gonna be. There's a decent amount of clouds, but it looks like they're mostly low clouds. So not sure how the sunset's gonna be, but hoping the colors break out. But uh, yeah, let me take out my camera and set up some shots. Just got here to uh, Torre de Hercules. It's a ancient Roman lighthouse in Acarunia in the Galicia region. And it's also an UNESCO heritage site. So it's supposed to be Spain's second tallest lighthouse. Uh, so we're gonna check out this lighthouse, take some pictures, 
fly the drone around a little bit. We are on the northwest coast of Galicia. We just got here a little while ago. It's about 30 minutes until sunset. Pretty overcast afternoon. Uh, I am super tired. We've just been driving around all over the place. Tomorrow's our last day. We're gonna explore the north coast of Galicia where there's a bunch of cliffs and really excited for that. But for now, we're gonna check out Torre de Hercules Lighthouse. Yo, what's up guys? Uh, we're back here. We are at Fragas de Eome. Uh, Fragas de Eome is a natural park slash forest in Galicia, right outside of La Coruña, which is where we're staying. <clears throat> uh, we actually didn't even have this place on our radar, but our Airbnb hostess told us all about it, said that it's a camp mist for photography and nature. So we decided that we had to go to this place. Uh, there's a lot of really cool lakes and rivers and bridges in the forest here. So we're gonna walk around and explore. We're gonna do the uh, route of Ecomenderieros. I think that's how you say it, uh, and see what that has in store for us. So, vamos. This place is really sick. It's not much of a hike. It's basically just a road that we're walking down. As you can see in the video, there are different trails and routes that you can take, but we didn't really do too much extensive research on this place because we kind of just came here last minute. So I think there's a old monastery at the end of the road that we're walking on right now. So we're gonna head that way right now. the monastery couldn't fly the drones around here anywhere unfortunately there were signs and <clears throat> actually security guards patrolling the area making sure that everything was in order and people were following the rules so we weren't uh, too keen on breaking those rules but it's all good it's pretty cool monastery up here um, you can go in the buildings and explore the history and uh, read all the information that they have on the monks that used to live here 
but uh, with that said, we're gonna hike back down to the car. We still got, it's probably about a 90 minute, two hour walk back. So kind of want to get a move on because we want to make it up to the capes uh, for sunset. All right, so let's head back to the car right now and get moving up to the capes in the north coast of Elysia. so windy I was not ready for this weather at all uh, not even sure if you guys can hear me right now with the sound and the wind but it's all good I'm gonna walk around here and get some shots of the landscape at golden hour not gonna fly my drone right now because I do not want to risk it especially at the last stop we made it all this way this whole entire trip with no accidents with the drone so i want to end on a good note you know Alright guys, that wraps it up at our last stop. Just want to say thanks for watching the video. Thanks for sticking it out until the end. If you made it this far, obviously make sure you subscribe and like the video. But even more, make sure you comment below. Let me know what you think about the video and the trip overall. And with that, I'm going to wrap up the video right here. Uh, make sure you subscribe and stay tuned and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.